All right, this is a tutorial on how to set up your virtual box, virtual um, machine today. So what you're going to do now is what you're going to do is you're going to go new, and it's going to pop up a dialog screen saying welcome to the new virtual wizard, and you click next. So for example, this is the VM name. You're going to give it your name, give it a name and OS type. Just so say Windows Seven Home Premium. Since even though I do have perfect, I mean not professional ultimate, I'm just gonna do home premium since this is the only example. So Windows 7, I'm gonna choose that. Next, the recommended base memory for Windows 7 is 512. Well, I'm not a 512 kind of person. I'm more of along the lines of a 1,012 megabyte person. But you can be any person you like to, since it's your virtual machine. So I'm gonna click next. What you're going to do is you're going to leave that boot hard disk to check. You don't want to uncheck that or else, duh, it will not work. So it's going to be like a create new hard disk thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new hard disk. But for me, I already have one ready to go. But I'm just going to show you how to anyway. So it's going to create new hard disk. Hard disk storage type should be dynamically expanding storage, not fixed size. Not fixed size. Or else you, or else it won't. Well, I don't even know about that, so I'm just I'm just gonna stay with dynamically expanding. But you can choose fixed size or expanding stores, but I may try fixed size. So I'm just gonna tell you what on along the lines here. You may choose anything from four megabytes to two terabytes. I already got one set for the exact amount of hard drive space I have in my computer. 149.49 gigs. So I'm just going to go to next. Oh, see, I already have that, but it shows you a dialog screen. See, look, that's the dialog screen that shows it right there. And boom, you're done. So the settings, go to storage. See that empty CD player thingy right there? You have to click on that and it will come up and say CD, DVD device or slot. You're going to leave it on IDE secondary master. And the CD, DVD device, that's empty. Well, I have a Windows ISO file, but I'll show you how to do that. You want to click that virtual media manager icon. You click add. And you're going to go find out until you can find your ISO file. If it's in your downloads folder, then go to your downloads folder. If you put in your documents folder, if you put in, you put you go to your documents folder, etc. etc. So mine's right in here, but I already have it in my uh, virtual media manager. Cancel that out. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go like that. Press OK, and it's done. Simple as that. Click start to see if it works. and there it goes windows is loading files it'll work like in a regular computer you just better hope it doesn't slow down your machine <laughs> alright that's all hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you have no more worries about setting up this virtual box